curious, how, how else could we use it if we were, say, like looking at like, I, m I remember one thing I struggled with was sort of like what's happening in the industry. And I know ChatGPT or GPT in general is limited to kind of 2021 September, something like that. There are some some tools. How are you using it for pulling in or summarizing or kind of explaining the news and what's relevant? Mm. So the only way you can do that right now, I mean, one is just like feeding it information. We can get into that in the um, the the framework, but another um, tool that you can use. So we talked a little bit about the two versions of, of ChatGPT. So we've got the 3.5 and then we have GPT-4. Um, you also have paid versions, non-paid versions. Um, I pay $20 a month. It's not that big of a big a deal. I would encourage anybody who's not doing it to pay. You don't wait in line. You get early access to plugins and new versions and that sort of thing. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion, to just be on the cutting edge and be one step one step ahead. But they have all these plugins, like similar to a um, an app store that plug into ChatGPT to just get like put it on steroids. And so right now they have one that's um, a beta with uh, Bing. There's also a couple of plugins that do search the web. So for example, like I just put in, if I'm meeting up with Colin on Friday, I asked it to, um, I need your help to prepare and so act as an executive assistant for myself and pull together an up-to-date prospect profile, include recent company news, summary of Colin's work history, and any news about Colin. So we have some, what's cool, so it actually like scrapes the web and you can like see what it does here. So it goes into Bing, it searches for Bing, it clicks on this, it reads it, it captures the information, goes back to the search, click, clicks on something up, something else. Um, and again, just kind of goes through all this in order to learn, in order to like properly answer the question. So we got some information on predictable revenue and it's also like links you to those particular um, resources and like sources. So you can actually go see it and read a little bit more detail about about that. But yeah, it touches on the um, kind of transformations that you've been going through. I kind of knew this through the through the grapevine and you can definitely um, kind of see the the fresh face on the the website. But let's say I didn't know about predictable revenue. I just got a warm introduction to you. This would be a good little start, uh, but there are limitations, right? So it gives me like a summary of of your info, but um, it couldn't find anything just in general on on you, like any recent news about you, whether it was there or not, but it was just a little bit limited there. But you can use some of these plugins to look at live information to help uh, prep and even do research for you.